Hi, I'm Gracie Abrams, and I'm gonna walk you through my everyday skincare routine and my kind of go-to daytime glam situation. I am a very puffy, puffy girl in the face when I wake up, no matter what. So I use ice every morning like this, and it's not necessarily, it's not a graceful one, but it helps me. My mom would suggest like putting ice behind my ears and like on my wrists when I was little because I would get like anxious and nauseous. I'm gonna wash my face now, clear cell cleanser. My skincare journey has been a very uh, interesting one. I had like no problems with acne at all growing up, which was really lucky. But then the summer before I went to college, something changed and my body got really angry and I started breaking out like horrible cystic acne. It was like so bad that it would hurt to sleep on. The next thing that I do, kind of like once every couple weeks, I'm gonna take this down. This face mask, it's a hydrating one. I got a facial like a week ago um, before I went upstate to work on the album. And I am a sensitive person inside and outside and my skin started to peel. This mask is really hydrating. I use this face roller tool I'm gonna just go over, this just feels so nice. When I went to college, my anxiety like skyrocketed in a way that was so in my face that I couldn't really ignore anymore. And that's kind of when I got into this more. This is something that I can do that feels like a tangible way to like be taking care of, of myself. It's kind of like giving your brain a little moment of rest. And sometimes like small distractions like this are really nice. This Pure Hydration Serum. These products are super dewy, really hydrating. Just feels really nice. Skin is unpredictable. I'm like breaking out kind of right now. Acne doesn't bother me as much now as it, as it used to. I'm really okay with it. I think it's cool the way that a lot of people on social media recently, I feel like have been just showing it and making it all right. The next thing I'm using right now is this thing called H Intervention Peptide Extreme. This is the moisturizer I'm using these days. Most of the skincare products that I'm using right now, a lot of them are kind of really meant for adult acne, which makes me feel like I'm doing something to like prevent <laughs> the Tom Ford Illuminating Primer. So I use this as a primer before makeup, but also on like a day to day when I could not be bothered to, I don't know, spend more than like five minutes in the mirror in the morning, I like to use this alone. It's like less than a highlighter, but more than nothing. This I found recently, this is the sunscreen and kind of like skin tint that I've been using. It was all over TikTok. And I honestly have been spending so much less time on social media recently, which has been so good for my brain. I am grateful that I was on it the day that I found this because this has like changed my life. My skin has changed a lot over the years, but like hardcore because of touring, it's just, you can't control it. Pillowcases in hotels sometimes, like that's a thing that I never thought about being like potentially problematic before. What's so great about having a skincare routine or just spending time with yourself in this way is that it kind of does feel like wherever you are, it's almost like a little bit of a home away from home moment like sitting backstage or on the bus and taking the like 30 minutes of drinking extra water and like applying <laughs> like brow gel like makes me feel deeply at peace i was more afraid of performing live than like anything else like my biggest fears in the world were like tsunamis and singing in front of people and before covid i was in rehearsals to do a tour when Everyone went into to lockdown, we were all quarantining. I started playing the set that I would have gone out and done, but at home and the music director who I work with who helps put on the, the shows had this idea to do shows through Zoom when it was this like baby step of an introduction to touring. So by the end of those shows, I was excited and I felt more ready. So thank you for attending and making me feel like less insane.
This is my favorite lip product in the world. It's the Laneige Sleeping Mask. This year we were touring six months straight, basically. The middle of those three legs of tour uh, was with Olivia Rodrigo. And she and I have been friends for a minute and to know that I was gonna have a friend on the road it made it feel like summer camp. This, I was introduced to in a real way by my best friend, Ariana. She was my college roommate. I rub it between my hands until it's super warm and like oily. And then I just put it all over. It makes you look like you've been drinking a lot of water and I need to do more of that. So this is like a fun little cheat. Another thing about this product that's so good for any of you tattoo people, this is what I use for tattoo healing. Skin is done, time to help me a little more. <laughs> Makeup time. The sunscreen that I used earlier, it's tinted and just helps. I love the base. Sometimes I do nothing else. Today, I'm doing more. Check it. This is the Westman Atelier foundation stick. I put this directly on my face, mostly on the spot where there's like noticeable discoloration. Some of my favorite artists have had like complete bare faces. I feel like most of the time, like um, Fiona Apple and, and Joni Mitchell. I have gravitated, I think mostly just because growing up, like I played like really competitive soccer and uh, was sweating all the time. So it was like a very different kind of a vibe for me. And I think that maybe that contributed to my lack of like intensity in terms of the makeup that I use. That being said, I've loved Lady Gaga for so long and the way that she uses makeup and has over the course of her career on carpets and uh, shows and like that to me, I'm like, holy shit. Like anytime she does anything, I kind of drop dead a little bit. This is the lighter shade and I like to use it under my eyes a little bit. Again, this is like more of like a brightening situation. I like this sometimes more than some of the other concealer products that I've tried just because it really is, it's so creamy. This is the NARS Creamy Concealer. I like this for acne. Also, I don't remember where I learned this trick. If you spot treat and then like let it sit for a couple seconds, it dries up a bit in a good way and will like the coverage is like a little bit more reliable. This is also Westman Atelier and it's the bronzer contour. I love blush so very much. This Tower 28 is an all time favorite. And then Glossier Cloud Paint, another classic. I'm gonna use a tiny bit of the cloud paint. See, this is like, this happens where I, some of the acne that I've had really like is gone and then wants to stick around. This is my favorite highlighter in the history of the world. It's Chanel. It's really great. It's like a balm. I like to put it a little bit on the inner corners of my eye. This is a CoverGirl eye pencil. I like to use an eyelash curler. This is Surat. Curling the lashes and then this. And I kind of pull it out a little and then just use my finger like. Okay, I'm gonna do lip stuff now, but I'm using um, just a washcloth. These are the pencils that I use to get a color that makes me happy. This is the Pillow Talk in medium. And then this is the Makeup Forever. It's like a, it's like a chocolate color. I don't like it just like this. I would not leave it just like it's too pink for me. This Glossier lip in the shade Trench, which is the one that I'm super into right now. This is uh, this lip balm situation and it's really good and it's on the 
mauve side. I have had a brow journey. When I was in middle school, I plucked like, my brows basically started like here. I can't believe they grew back. I don't know, like someone was watching over me. Somewhat like it, they really grew back. Brow gel is my most favorite makeup product. I use the Anastasia Brow Freeze. I recently read Jennifer Lawrence's Vogue cover story and she was like, I don't, I can't fuck with people that aren't political anymore. And I stand behind that really heavily because it's just the world is on fire. There is, I think, an obligation to be starting conversations about everything that's going on for everyone all over the place. Please go to abortionfunds.org. Just please go and you can figure out how to get involved in your own local funds. My mom growing up like had she was not a she's not a big makeup person at all but she had this compact this Laura Mercier like concealer and I think I like maybe a lot of the minimalism in this world is because I love my mom so much and I just now want to be like her and she does very little so I'm like same but I'm lucky to be really close with my with my parents and uh my dad was writing wild stories all the time um, and like had a crazy imagination. I think it gave me permission to also know that like adults can be storytellers too. This I love because it makes it look like more intentionally messy. This is called Freck. I have a lot of freckles on my face. I also am like very pale and the pale products that I use covers my freckles. So I like to use this to bring back some of the like darker ones. I love this one. And you're getting a real up close shot of the gap in my teeth, which growing up, uh, I wanted to close cause people would always ask me if I was gonna. One day I was at the mall with my dad cause we were getting a suitcase. The woman who owned the store, she was like, to me, I was really young and I walk over to her and she goes, never close your gap, it's good luck. And I was like, oh shit. This is my favorite fragrance of all time. Someone once told me that like, if you spray it in your hair a little, then like all day long, you'll smell good. I carry with me uh, in my bag all the time. It's Santal 33. It smells like the way that, I feel like my childhood bedroom smelled like this. This is it, we're done here. Thank you for hanging out with me. Um, I hope that you're happy, healthy, safe, hydrated, loving your friends and family. Being good to yourself. I will see you soon, okay? I love you, bye. Mwah.